Rain showers, vectors, and lots of traffic made this flight a little more involved than a scenic flight would normally be. We just finished up circling around downtown Austin and are heading west to make a lap around Lake Travis before heading back into San Marcos. We see a couple of rain showers just west of the lake, but they're no threat to us since they're just that, rain showers, and they're nowhere close to being a thunderstorm. Now having ADS-B on board the aircraft proved to be a big help on this flight, not only by enabling us to watch the weather on both the Garmin 430 and the iPad, but also be able to see traffic ahead of time. The fact that Tyler is a licensed pilot really helps me out on this flight, since he knows how to look for traffic, and he would often find them before I even had a chance to look. However, no technology will ever replace seeing an aircraft with our own eyes, but we've come pretty dang close. Our Garmin GTX 345 transponder sends ADS-B weather and traffic to both the Garmin 430 WAS on the panel and to the ForeFlight app on my iPad via Bluetooth. You can hear the iPad occasionally give me audible traffic alerts. This flight definitely demonstrated the full usefulness of having ADS-B on board in VFR conditions, and I can definitely say that it provides a great peace of mind when it comes to dealing with traffic and weather. This was the first semi-decent flying day we've had in a while, so I assume that's why the airspace was so uncharacteristically congested, everyone was taking advantage of the nice weather. However, despite the craziness of the busy airspace and the rain showers in the area, we definitely enjoyed this short cruise around downtown in the lake, and I hope you do too. And Cessna 991, did you have a request? Yeah, Cessna 991, we'd just like to head over towards Lake Travis, circle the lake a couple times, and then we'll be out to San Marcos if that's alright. Cessna 991, proceed out to the lake. 991. Just want to make sure he's cool with it. Yep. They usually yeah, bring IFR Mike Mike aircraft Mike. over the over the lake descending. Two Mike Alpha, clear direct to uh, Frederick. So we got those towers there that are at 2,000 feet. We're going to take it up to 2,500. Charlie, yeah, contact approach 125.32, 2,532. See ya. 2,532 for six Mike Charlie. Yeah, it's definitely a bunch of spotty rain out there. Yeah, yeah, I can see a little bit there, a little bit there. Yeah, there's one off to like the two o'clock as well. Yeah. Command Chief 46480, Austin Approach, Austin Alzheimer's, Tree 000. Tree 000. There are five, November Delta, contact San Marcos Tower 126.82, good day. 26820. See what Lagobis is saying. Density altitude three. American eleven thirty eight offset approach. Which way you're deviating? Uh, we're deviating left. Uh, we were trying to get direct lake, but uh, we still got stuff in front of us, and we have information problem. And American 1138, maintain 10,000, and the deviation is to the left or approved. Let me know when you can resume the arrival. You expect probably uh, 20 miles on that heading from what I'm showing on the front of you. Boy, that checks, uh, American uh, 1138. We'll level off at 10. There are 3-2, Papa Mike, contact. Austin approach, 125.32, 2532, 2 Papa Mike. 2532, 2 Papa Mike, today. Yeah, there's some rain there. 40 Charlie, descend, maintain uh, 4,000. 40 Charlie, 4,000. Leaving five, descending four thousand. One two four zero, Charlie. Air one two Zulu, you ready to exit the hold? Hey, for one two Zulu. Air one two Zulu, flight heading of a one nine zero, maintain uh, three thousand. Right, the good thing about this is, you know, if you know a bit about thunderstorms, none of these are in the mature stage. You know, these, these are just little spotty showers, so you don't really have to worry about hail or anything. There are nowhere, I mean, there's no cumulonimbus around. It's just towering cumulus that. Drop a little bit of water out the bottom. Yeah. We obviously just don't want to go into the rain because we lose our visibility for a pretty fast. Maintain one one thousand. One one thousand break two.
the lake's looking good. Oh yeah. No peninsulas, well there's a little island. <laughs> but it doesn't look like the water's so damn low. God, I remember yeah. back in like... God, when a couple was years ago, right? But yeah, a few years ago. Flying out and around here, it's, before you start to it was drive. bad. Yeah. It was bad, bad, bad. Just on 12 Zulu, you're five miles from the final approach fix. Turn left heading. There's a little bit of rain right there. Two zero, maintain uh, three thousand till Some of this stuff is Virga too. You know what Virga is? Yeah. Precipitation that doesn't quite make it to the ground. American 1138, cross lady at or above five thousand. It just evaporates before it gets there. American I mean, this is definitely precip right here. I can see that, and that's definitely precip. That's definitely a precip. So there's that little rain shower. Or a little bit of rain just off to our right. But then, then a lot of it. The heavier stuff is just beyond it. Traffic off the airport turning westbound leveling 4000 is the United 737. Contact approach 125.32. Altimeter 3004. Density altitude 3000. Start procedure turn. 1740 Charlie. Departure shell There's a rule against training. Uh, like students can't come there to do touch and goes. Oh really? Yeah. So as a student, yeah, I never went there, and up till now, like and I've never had a reason to go there. Turn right, direct to LOL. I've heard it's pretty small and tight LOL, down yeah. there, so I wouldn't want to come in and be a nuisance. Yeah. Five thirty one. Do not exceed two three zero knots in your climb. We'll say the speed again for your nine five seventy one. Yeah, five seventy one. Actually, do not exceed two five zero knots in your climb. Do not exceed two five zero knots. Nine five seventy one. Yeah, five seventy one. Climb maintain one two thousand. Climb maintain one two thousand twelve thousand. One two twelve thousand nine five seventy one. Airshow sixty three zero two. What's your uh, climb speed? Two hundred and fifty right now. We'll be two seventy after ten. Airshow sixty three zero two. Roger. Austin approach Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one heading direct San Marcos now. Airshow sixty three sixty three zero two. Contact Houston Center one three four point two thirty four two. Have a great day. Thirty four two. Thanks. Airshow sixty three zero two. Cessna 9901, roger, you can enter left base for runway 8 at uh, San Marcos. Information, India is current. Hey, we'll get to India, we'll plan for the left base runway 8, 9901. Bonanza 48 Sierra, contact San Antonio. Oh, yeah, Bridge, one, two, seven, point contact clear and clear on 125.400, broken 6,000. 3150, we're 2.3 for 4,000, I didn't get a single thing of that. Oh really? There's so much going on. GPS one zero seven, squad zero two zero seven. I don't know why, but their AWOS is pretty weak. So it's a nine or nine or one traffic, eleven o'clock, ten or five miles westbound, level three thousand. VFR is a seminal. They're uh, being vectored out for the RNAV runway eight. Okay, looking for the traffic, and uh, he may be in the clouds. So we're looking for him. Nine or nine or one. I want everybody else. He's uh, below, says he's below the clouds. It's just uh, there may be a different uh, grouping of them down to the south of where you're at. But uh, there is an antenna just there. Sorry, actually, it's a I think it's a water tower just ahead to your left at uh, MVA. And that area is 3,000. Okay, no, no, no. We're looking for that. We got the uh, traffic on the transponder. We'll be looking. Roger. Yeah. Bases are 3,500 near the RNAV. 
Roger, thank you. Cessna 9 or one can you take a turn to the right to follow traffic? Absolutely, 9 or one 9 or one turn right heading 230, maintain the VFR at or below 3000. At or below 3000, VFR to 230, 9 or one Okay, see so he's going to turn us in behind him. Oh, I see him. Maintain 4, you got him? Yeah, I've got him. Is he below the clouds? Uh, yes, he is. I know they're going to put you in the clouds, but it'll, uh, I'll just keep you at that altitude long enough to uh, get you clear of some IFR traffic and mount to the ILS. I do not see him. So really hard to see. Not fine. 4-0 Charlie. 4-0 Charlie, no problem. The car maintain 4,000. So worry, there's kind of a split in the very base level. It's kind of like right above that now. And then now to where that's kind of pointy. 6 2 5 6 8 I don't see him. Correction, turn right hitting 0-2-0. Right hitting. 0 2 5 6 8 Zero two zero five six eight. All right, new heading. So I'm checking. Uh, we're actually on an airway. Like right on an airway. Huh. Coming up to the guards intersection. And uh, I got him. There he is. Delta, we have traffic at our three to four o'clock in sight. There one number Delta, yeah, that's the traffic. There's additional traffic that's inbound for the ILS. It's at your 10 o'clock in uh, 100 miles northeast bound at 3000. Is a Cessna. That's the traffic I'm taking you around for our, uh, for the RNAV runway 8. Roger, 901. Oh, the uh, Seminole traffic's just ahead, and about a mile and a half at 3,000. Additional traffic opposite direction, uh, 12 o'clock and 7 miles at 3,000 is a Cessna. Okay, negative on the Cessna, we got the Seminole in front of us in sight, 991. 991, roger. 568, this is going to be close sectors to the final for traffic. 940, Charlie, turn left, hitting a 270. Left 270, 40, Charlie. Acknowledge close sectors, 568. 12 o'clock. Two miles. Six hundred feet above. Fourteen sixteen, checking on, descending out of ten seven for ten thousand. We have uh, Bravo currently deviating right for uh, uh, weather. Austin approach Delta five fifty. Uh, did you catch if you wanted me to maintain the setting, or did you tell me to follow him? Uh, fourteen sixteen, Austin approach. Sorry, I'm gonna ask. I probably said. I think it's a follow. Okay. Okay. I could be wrong though. And Delta fourteen sixteen, Roger. Austin Approach Skyhawk 80991, did you want us to hold 230 or follow at Seminole? Block. Center 568, turn right, heading of 100, join the low closer. I lost him. Right, 100, join the low closer. I saw, got him. Delta 550, Austin Approach, expect runway 35 left, information Bravo's current. Expect 35 left, we have Bravo. That's a traffic conflict right up here. 130 at the current time of sign. Uh oh. And Delta 550, Roger, I'll let you know when you can proceed to your lady to rejoin the arrival. Very well, thank you. Still got him. Uh, yes. 4,000. Southwest 741, Austin Parch, radar contact, climb, maintain 12,000, clear, direct, LOL. 12,000, LOL, Southwest 741. Southwest 991, traffic, you're following Southwest 12 o'clock, uh, two miles at 3,000. Okay, looking for the traffic, negative contact, we'll hold this heading, 991. One over Delta, turn left, heading of 190. Got him. Left turn, 190, for 100 Delta. Southwest 1416, oh, I got maintain 5,000. Instead of 5,000, Southwest 1416. 991 has that Cessna in sight. 991, follow the Cessna inbound for, uh, or correction, just keep them off your left. They're going to the ILS runway 13. You can either follow them inbound for the uh, airport or uh, go all the way down to 13. Okay, uh, we'll keep them off our left side. We'll turn, uh, you say we can turn inbound behind them? 991, affirmative, just turn in behind that traffic. Okay, we'll keep them on our left and turn inbound behind them. Cessna 568, see so your cleared ILS runway 13 approach, contact that marks Tower 12. Alright, so we're going to slow it down because he's about to slow down. Yeah. Tower 12682. The Delta 550 clear direct lady cross lady at 5000. And what we're going to do, just for reference, we're going to put the uh, localizer in there. Uh, and cross lady at 5000 and rejoin the arrival. We're going to hold 2500. 5000, rejoin the arrival, Jeff 1416. Cessna 9901, contact Sunmark Star 12628-2, let them know you are following the Cessna inbound for the airport. 2682, we'll let them know. Thanks for your help, 9901. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So Marcus Tower, Skyhawk 80991, inbound, uh, following the traffic on the ILS for runway 13. Hey everybody calling at once, uh, who's from just outside Gary's? That's uh, 568, Skyhawk 62568. 62568, roger, report Gary's inbound. 68, we'll report Gary's inbound. Anybody else call? San Marcus Tower, Skyhawk 80991, inbound, uh, following the traffic on the ILS 13. 
991, Roger. You inbound for 1 3. Well, they told us to expect runway 8, but uh, they said we could turn inbound behind him. Well, yeah, turn inbound to runway 8. And uh, just, yeah, just you're well behind the guy in the ILS to 1 3, but runway 8's the active. Okay, that's where we're pointing. We'll uh, head to runway 8, 991. Got a Seminole about to check in on runway 8. Call him about a Seminole, say again. That is a Seminole being vector for the RNAV 8. 991 was behind him. Yeah, I see him out there now. 991, just proceed direct to the airport to, for runway 8. We're heading straight to the numbers, 991. All these flight school airplanes. I think that dude just got pissed that I was vectored inside the Seminole. Yeah. Like, sorry dude, I'm just doing the, what the controllers are telling me. There's so, a Cessna. 2 Tango Charlie, right traffic this time. Cessna 2 Tango Charlie, right traffic. Gosh, so much traffic. traffic. Okay, Hawk 568 is, uh, carried. Just 568, runway 13, cleared low approach. Cleared low approach, 568. 06, visibility 10, sky condition, ceiling broken 2400, broken 6000, temperature 29.23, altimeter 3002. RNAV GPS runway 8 approaching, landing and departing runway 8. And then there's a contact if I have information, India. That was outer marker for the ILS. I'm like keeping right up with him. Alright, shut up. Oh, there goes one GoPro. Where what? But there goes one GoPro. What the hell? <laughs> Did you hear it shut off? Yeah, yeah. And I think the one on the left shut off too. I don't. I turn off the light on it. Oh, you did. So it doesn't see its reflection. Okay. Never mind then. Got a little rain shower out there, and we're clear according to ADSB traffic on final. I don't see anybody on final except for that seven all the way out there. Marco Star 882 Tango Charlie is mid-field downwind for runway 8. Right traffic. Cessna 82 Tango Charlie Tower, okay, you extend downwind, I'll call your base for sequence. 882 Tango Charlie extended downwind till you call our base. Cessna 991, keep speed up to the field as long as practical, you're cleared to land runway 8. Clear land runway 8, we'll keep it up, uh, 991. Set Marcus Tower, Seminole 491, November Delta is established on the runway 8 RNAV into Set Marcus. Requesting power to work. Seminole 1, November Delta, Set Marcus Tower, continue on the approach. Continue on the approach for 1 over Delta. Set Marcus Tower, Skyhawk, 5 Yes, on the full tank, undercarriages down, mixture. Uh, Pop full forward power. Just five, six, eight. Trim. Roger. Straps and flaps. You're strapped in? Oh, yeah. Alright. Traffic, 12 o'clock. So that's a two tango child. You're following the Cessna that's inbound from the northwest. He's about to turn final out there, off your right side, about a mile. Come on, Star 82 Tango Charlie has the traffic feet. in sight. Two tango Charlie, follow that traffic. He's full stop. And we're waiting. No tractor guy turning on out there. Two tango tra uh, traffic following traffic for only eight. Clear touch of He's that nose up. One one thousand. Two one thousand. Three one thousand. There's ten degrees of flaps in the wide arc. And we are clear to land. You're down. Ten o'clock. Two miles. 700 feet above. So it's 568 contact approach. 568 contact approach. A little crosswind from the left. Gonna need a little right rudder. A little 
side slip. Just hold it off, hold it off. Perfect. Awesome. Oh yeah. Dang, that was like instant warmth. Yeah. Airflow quit. This is 991, turn right on Bravo and contact ground 120.12. Right on Bravo, ground 2012, thanks for your help, 991. A little rain shower out there. Totally past the hold line. 120.12. San Marcos ground, Skyhawk 80991, clear runway 8 on Bravo, going to the T anchors. Skyhawk 80991, San Marcos ground, taxi to parking via taxiway Alpha. Parking via Alpha 80991. Alright, clear left, clear right. Good teamwork. Yeah. That was a lot of traffic. There was so much traffic. CRM, or Crew Resource Management, is a very useful tool that all pilots should implement, no matter the size or complexity of your aircraft. If you have someone that's willing and able to help you, the pilot, put them to work. Even if it's a simple task such as having them read the checklist for you or spotting traffic, every little bit helps. After all, the pilot's number one priority is the safety of the flight, and I think we engaged in some pretty good teamwork to make this flight as safe as possible.